people. But I was happy when they came to their senses to realize that music is the, the bridge that's going to connect us. But what I was disappointed in, they didn't try to connect with Jamaica, the roots. They connect with everyone else mm. except us. You talking about Afrobeats? Yes. Okay, okay, continue. Sorry. So they connected with everyone else except us. But when we look at what they're doing, their music is not free in Africa. It's far cray. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Need to free Africa. If I am all the way in Jamaica and my and my country and my people fight for free, you're a continent. Wow, my people. So it's been a while we did this. Uh, we are back with OVW, and on today's topic, there's this raging topic on entertainment. I mean, the legendary Buju Bantang has said some things about Afrobeats and how he feels that it does not preach consciousness and then the message it carries does not kind of bring the kind of message the black community needs. So then a lot of people have waited in it. Uh, the antenna hitmaker from Ghana Fuse ODG has also shared his opinion on what Bujibanteng said. So we are going to look into that on OVW today. If this is your first time on our platform, kindly follow us across all social media platforms. Deadel Online. So D E E D E W Online is the platform. And then subscribe to our YouTube, Deadel Online. Let's keep growing the family. Let's keep learning. Let's keep entertaining ourselves. So Fuse ODG has spoken. According to him, Afrobeat is the most revolutionary, uh, I should say, form of black music to have ever existed. It looks like Bujubanton disagrees. It looks like he is saying that Afrobeat takes its roots from reggae. Fuse ODG didn't totally agree, but we take a look at what Fuse ODG said so we can get into it. Yes, people, Fuse ODG here. I came on my timeline and I seen that Buju Bunton's video and his views on Afrobeats. Now, Buju's a legend, big rah, and he's entitled to his opinion, but he definitely missed it here. And as one of the few Afrobeats artists who have experienced both extremes, you know, conscious Afrobeats to commercial Afrobeats. On one hand, I have a song with Major Laser, Light It Up, that has over a billion streams. On the other, I have a song with Damien Marley, Breffier, and it's a song about bring, bringing our people back home and building in the motherland. Right. Afrobeats is the most revolutionary form of black music to have ever existed But can't deny that Afrobeats would not exist in its current form If it wasn't for high life, jazz, hip-hop, R&B, reggae, dancehall, garage, uh, grime, soul It's an amalgamation of all of these genres In fact, you can even say it's the child of all of these genres And a child should always respect his or her parents a tree wouldn't exist without its roots. But let's not forget that the roots always lead back to Africa. And I get where Buju is coming from because most Afrobeats hits don't really have the message in it. Um, but that's not to say there aren't Afrobeats artists who are making music with the message in it. But for me, it doesn't have to be that deep because Afrobeats is so spiritual. A lot of times we're speaking in our mother tongues, but it still resonates with people. And it's music that's allowing Africans to now fall back in love with themselves and be proud of being African. It's allowing African-Americans to want to come back home and connect back to their roots. It's allowing Afro-Caribbeans to now want to reconnect with their roots so it's revolutionary in a way that has never been done before 2019 i launched a year of return with the ghana government and we generated 1.3 billion for the ghana economy before the year of return, the office were, were issuing out 40, 45,000 visas that year. After the year of return, they issued out 750,000 visas. So as well as economic benefits, there are also spiritual benefits. The music is bringing our people back home for them to learn about their history and where they're from. And most times people are just coming to turn up and get lit because it's December in Ghana. But it's now allowing black people to take ownership back off the motherland and we're buying lands we're building homes most of my artist friends now have homes in ghana we're building schools i'm now building a tech company that's that teaches a uh, black history called sonar it teaches black history and african languages and that's that's that all started with the music you know it all started with afrobeats so i always say to people afrobeats is not just lit 
it's actually liberation and it's bringing our people back home so we need to just focus on uniting as a people and building together so big up buju bro we love you but you really missed it here rah, rah, rah. all right so there you have it that's fuse odg also sharing his thoughts on the matter on the ground at the moment buju banting's opinion on afrobeat and what he feels afrobeat is not doing right and what afrobeat should be doing should afrobeat be giving props to reggae and dancehall should he not be giving props to all the black music that have ever existed right from the days when africans were free when africans were in africa to when africans were exported to the diaspora the americas the europe and all of that should we only be giving props to reggae and dancehall that's the question for today on ovw my name still remains Kobana emisa dereo thank you for watching as usual and like i said if this is your first time on our platform kindly do justice kindly help us by going our number so you follow and subscribe to our channel until next time this was ovw thank you for watching